Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of this happy tutorial series where today we are going to be going over form data and working with forms. So as you know, so far we've just been changing routes, um, we've been just using the method get, um, switching around that way, we can serve static files, but we've never actually handled information coming from the files that we're returning. So for example, we made this um, welcome.html file, we can actually retrieve form data from this, handle it on our server, and then display what we want to display to the user. And of course the way to get this um, data that comes in through the form is done through the request object here. So what I'm going to do to show you this, first I'm going to create a form. So I'll just record, make this form real quick and then I will go over it. Okay, so what I've done is I've created this form right here where the action dash login basically means which server route we're going to direct to. So if I go back to server.js, I would need to make a route here where what we are going to do is we'll do a method, but this time it will be post because we're handling form data. The path I said is dash login. So that is what we'll link these to. So right here, the action in the form will make it so we go to this. And then the handler, of course, will just be how we will handle this. So we're going to do request h, do arrow syntax, and then if we want to add a comma here and then if we actually want to obtain this form data it's retrieved by the names so you can see we have input right here text name username and then we have so this is just a username and a password so I can show you what it looks like on the web page so you can see right here this will be our username so username I don't know is wit code and our password would just be one two three four and then when we click login this will get submitted so the way we handle this is on our server.js and this is with the request object so what we can do right now is we can just log request dot and what you get it from is payload so the request object you get it from the payload object and then from that you get the name so we've got username and then let's copy this paste it down here and the other thing we have is the password and so this comes from in the form name is username and then name is password so that's how we're retrieving them there. And so now what we're going to do is just log these to the console. But of course, what we have to do is we have to return a string. Or you have to return something in each happy function. All right, so let's just go to the, let's type this in and see what happens. OK, so now I'm just going to click log in. We can see we get back high. And let's see if we got logged to, there we go. So wit code and one, two, three, four. And so what we can do with this is we could say this is a login. Say this is a simple login form. And though actually what we will be doing is later we'll be using going over authentication plugins, which is a lot better for handling this. But this is just a way to show you what you could, what you could possibly do. So we could say if request.payload.username equals um, wit code, and say we also, of course, want to check and password a request dot payload dot password equals what was it one two three four like this or the string of course one two three four then oh and I wrong equals here so equals that then what we will do is we can say um, we can just let's just return you logged in you logged in just like this and if that didn't happen, what we would say is return wrong password and, and or username. Because, of course, we don't want to give them too much information. But so we could just do something like this. So now if we go back to our web page and let's go back to the home page where this is located. And let's type in wit code 1234. Cool. You logged in. And now let's go back and let's type in wit wit code and say one two three four five and wrong password and our username so this is just some simple functionality we can do with this and so of course in the previous videos we learned how to use the inert plugin so let's make use of this here too so let's go into our static folder where remember we registered this all our static files are going to be located in the static folder because of how we registered with the server and let's create two more files in here let's call one of them um, logged in .html, and let's call let's make another one let's call it um, I don't know, can't 
log in .html. And now let's do, we'll serve them up based off of what happens. So say this is logged in, so let's just make an h1 in here, and let's say you have logged in. Welcome wit code, because that's the user that we're going to be checking for. So save this, and then for here, let's say, let's do an h1 and let's say incorrect. Or you know what, even better, what we can do is let's just redirect them to the home page again. So for can't log in, let's delete this. And now what we're going to do is on server.js, if the password and everything was correct, what we will do is we will return h.file and the name of it is logged in.html. So if the password is correct, we'll return them there. And if not, what we will do is let's do return h.redirect. So if you can remember the redirect, and we'll just redirect them back to the home page. So now let's see what happens if we do this. Go back to the home page. All this is loaded again. Um, let's type in what code, one, two, three, four. Cool, so you can see we got it right. So what happens is we end up using the inert plugin to serve the file logged in.html. And now let's get it wrong. So let's go in here, wit code, and let's do one, two, three, four, five. And we just get redirected back here. So this is just some simple functionality you can do by accessing the payload object. In the next video, what we're going to be learning to do is serve up uh, dynamic files using a plugin called Vision. So for example, say right now we've hard coded into here, welcome wit code. What if we had something, you know, where it's like this? between brackets and whatever is in these brackets like name is what will be displayed. So whatever the user types in to whatever the user types into here will be what is displayed here. So that's what we're going to be going over in the next video.